Hello and welcome. Today we are going to discuss very quickly an interesting clip that some people covered, but I want to comment on this because I think it shows you something that people overlook a little bit about Tesla and artificial intelligence, AGI, artificial general intelligence, and their robo taxi. So let's take a look at this video here. And I want to point out some things while we're watching it. It's going to be very, very short. So please pay very good attention. What is happening here? So this is a video. Let me make this big so you see it. This is a video of someone who is a, you know, who is a Tesla owner and who posts a bunch of stuff. He drives to a toll booth and uh, it's fully autonomous. So his Tesla is on FSD. He's not doing anything. And look at his right foot, by the way. The right foot will move over the braking pedal, but actually never press it. This is very important because he basically doesn't do anything. He's just getting prepared in case the car does something stupid at the toll booth. But he's not doing anything. He's not pressing it and he's not removing it. He's just hovering over it. So watch his foot very closely. So to confirm that he's not doing anything. So let's watch it. It's only 1 minute 23. Yeah, he's moving his foot over. He's not pressing it. Not pressing it. Hello. Hello. Yeah. It's still off his team. Right on you so the the okay, thank you. What the heck? <laughs> what <was> that? <laughs> How did it do that? <laughs> that was a hundred percent. I didn't touch anything. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, well, I'll take it. Wow. So maybe you wonder, Joe, what is this? What are you talking about? Let me explain to you what just happened. And let me explain why when people talk about LiDAR and Waymo, they don't even understand what's going on here. So this person sits in a Model Y or whatever this is, and there's a toll booth where he has to stop, turn his head left, start talking to the operator of the toll booth, do some financial transaction, pay something, get some money back, and then continue driving. But he is on full self-driving Tesla, the current version that has massively improved over the last few months and weeks. It's getting updated every two weeks and it's crazy. Just talked to Herbert about it and Herbert is, tests his Tesla all the time and he's now five months in fully autonomous with no intervention. Crazy. Anyway, so this guy is on FSD. The Tesla says, oh, there's a toll booth. The Tesla, listen to this, the Tesla does all of that. The Tesla says, oh, there is a toll booth. Let's drive him to the toll booth and stop without him using the pedal. Okay, that's already pretty good. The Tesla drives right up to the window, stops exactly so he can start the conversation with that person in the window. Then he pays, he says, oh yeah, sure. Goes back, gets some money, gives him some change. He takes the change inside the car, gets the little tag, is ready to put it on the window. And what does the Tesla do? The Tesla starts driving. Hey. Creating these videos is a lot of work. Please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Now let's get back to the video. So put your technical hat on, put your intelligence hat on, your intelligence architect hat, and think about how this is even possible. There's a car that recognizes a phone uh, toll booth, drives to the toll booth and stops right at the window. So it has to understand, I have to drive there and there's a window, and I have to drive my driver so he can talk to the person in the window because this is not a random building. It's not a bridge. It's a toll booth where we have to pay. The Tesla has to know that. Then the Tesla, and listen to this, the Tesla has to observe. The Tesla has to observe what these two people, the, the, the toll booth operator and the driver, the driver, whatever, like the sitter who sits in the driver's seat, they have to observe what they do. They have to observe. The Tesla has to observe. Oh. They're having a little chit chat. He doesn't have enough money to pay or too much money. He's going to give a bigger chunk of money. The other person is now looking for change. I'm telling you what the Tesla has to observe and think. Oh, now she comes back with the change. She reaches over into the window and he reaches the hand out. He takes the change. He also has the tag that you need for the drive. Now the transaction is completed because he got the money. I am now good to drive. I am Tesla. Do you know what that means? Do you know how crazy this is? It means number one, 
that the interior camera and the side camera of the Tesla on the side window is observing this transaction. It also means it understands the transaction, that it is a transaction necessary to continue driving, that there is an exchange of money that takes some time, and it concludes when that transaction is completed so it can then continue driving. Like, just let that sink in. And people talk about LiDAR and stuff. How is this even possible? Well, because if you are Tesla FSD, you have collected millions and millions and millions, billions and billions of miles at this point. And you have observed through all cameras and the Tesla, including the interior camera and including the side cameras, all kinds of things. Tesla has observed, I don't know, millions of these transactions, probably millions. I don't know. Hard to tell how many Tesla toll booth visits there are. If you have 6 million Teslas on the road, yeah. I mean, 6 million, of course. If, if the average Tesla driver has just one interaction per year with a toll booth, and many have them every day, so then you have 6 million of these transactions, 6 million toll booth transactions that Tesla has already trained their AGI model with. Because make no mistake, what Tesla is doing here is artificial general intelligence. It's not a self-driving technology. It's artificial general intelligence. We've also seen reports or even cameras here where there are cops, they're saying stop, and they're saying go, like hand gestures, and the Tesla just understands it. There are also people on the side road, sideway, uh, uh, and they say, oh, here's a little kid, stop, and then the car understands it because it has been trained with millions of these instances. So, and it has abstracted these things and understands them at this point because it's an end-to-end -end neural net, a pretty good one. So this is just very important to understand because when people think, oh, how can, you know, what kind of technology are we even developing here? Can it even be, is it even conceivable that you develop a technology where a car can just navigate through the world intelligently? Just think about what it means to drive through a city and have all these things to drop people off and, you know, pick them up and do all kinds of things. You need to have intelligence. You can't just map out a, a city. You need a brain that has true intelligence. And that video here shows you a little bit what is going on and how crazy it is, you know, what we see. So one last time and then we wrap. There's the operator in the yellow Hello. West. Yeah. It's still Stick that right on your windshield, have a good one. Great, thank you. Getting the tag and this thing drives. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> How did it do that? <laughs> that was a hundred percent. I didn't touch anything. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh. So with that, I let you go. But this is just another insight into we have to understand if you spend billions and billions on these chip factories, 16.5 billion on Samsung, you're having hundreds of thousands of H100s or in Tesla case, I think, uh, Cortex has uh, 60,000 H100 equivalents where they train this every day. Uh, you are getting something for your money. You're getting a level of intelligence we would have thought to be completely impossible even three years ago. So I think people will keep getting surprised what insane level of technology intelligence we already have. By end of this year, it's just completely game over in my opinion. And uh, there you have it. Your Tesla will have true intelligence, artificial general intelligence built in, what it already has. See you next time.